Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome everyone back to another COD World War 2 video. So this is going to be the first COD World War 2 video of mine since the initial release. I've been having problems with my internet and stuff like that, so I couldn't make a video. But today we are here with the first video and how better to start it off than looking at how to get supply drops fast for you guys. So as you know, supply drops are a good thing, a good way to customize your character and sometimes getting it is a little bit tedious, but I'm going to be showing you five ways on how to get it easy. If you want more videos, drop it a thumbs up. I'll also be doing another video soon on how to play split screen because guess what? A lot of people still don't understand how to play split screen, uh, which I'll go through. It's actually kind of weird how they hit it around, but it's there. So moving over, I am going to be showing you five ways on how to get these supply drops faster. So starting off with number one, it is to collect your mail from headquarters. Now, I don't know if this is a coincidence or not because I haven't checked my mail in there for a long time. But as you can see, I checked my mail and uh, I ended up getting this helmet. Now, this helmet may have been a bit of a coincidence because I think I got this helmet for being part of the beta or something like that. But I picked up the helmet and it gave me three rare supply drops or three common supply drops. And as you can see, I used them all and I didn't get that bad of uh, customization items through it, which isn't too bad. So always go inside it, pick up your mail if you can, because you never know, maybe it could give you an extra supply drop, a rare supply drop. But from what I can make out of, I just picked it up and I got a supply drop like that. Um, I told my friends to do it and they also got some supply drops too. Some of them got um, maybe two supply drops and one supply drops one time. So I guess it really depends. So the second thing we're going to be looking at on how to get supply drops faster. This one is very cool to do. What you need to do is watch people open up supply drops. Now, when you watch people open up their supply drops, what you have to do is you have to make sure that they get an epic in their supply drop that they're opening. If they get an epic or something of that equivalence, guess what? You get a free supply drop for just watching. So no, you don't get a rare supply drop. It's just a normal common supply drop, but hey, it's free. Why not go ahead and do it? As you can see, I'm looking at my friend's supply drop here. He doesn't get an epic. So unfortunately, I don't get a supply drop. Now, if they do get an epic and you don't get a supply drop, I want to tell you right now, this doesn't work all the time for some reason, but sometimes it does, as you can see on the screen, watching someone and boom, you get a supply drop yourself just like that. It's pretty cool. And the way to view people opening up supply drops is that if you're in a pregame lobby, uh, you can actually press the options button and you go into the headquarters. And it's a bit of a glitch right now, but you can't actually see everyone in the headquarters. Sometimes you'll see people from the lobby in the headquarters. In my case, I'm, you know, I was with my friends in the party and you can see them. So if you see people opening up a supply drop, go ahead and watch them because you're pretty much going to get a free common supply drop if they obviously get an epic variant. Sometimes it happens and sometimes it doesn't for some reason. I'm not really too sure why. Heading over into the third step on how to get these supply drops quick and easy, we're going to be looking at the contract section. So if you head over to this woman here in the headquarters and you go over to the contracts, you can select a few of these contracts. And when you scroll through, you can see at the bottom, it tells you uh, what the reward is. In this case, where I'm ho hovering over this contract, it says I'm going to get a supply drop and there's a few others. Uh, orders like this or a few other contracts that give you supply drops as well. The problem with going to this woman for the contracts here is that some of these uh, missions are quite hard to do. They're going to take a while. You know, some of them are getting tons of kills, playing lots of games. They really want you to grind out this game to get some of these supply drops. So that is an option. You can grind out the game and getting the supply drops. However, instead of doing all that nonsense, the fourth thing to do is to go over to Major Howard. Now, Major Howard is awesome because he has weekly and daily uh, orders for you to complete, and his orders aren't too bad compared to this woman over here. So as you can see, over here, what you can do, he will tell you which orders will give you a rare supply drop or a normal supply drop, and they aren't that bad. It's like win 10 war games, get 100 kills. It's not as bad as the woman over there. Major Howard is definitely better, so I would recommend trying to activate Major Howard's one and the woman's uh, contract as well. So you've got orders and contracts going simultaneously. And what happens is if you press the options button from the headquarters, you go into this menu here. If you scroll over to orders, you can see all the orders 
and contracts that you have active. And from there, you can redeem your stuff. As you can see, I redeemed some of my items, opening up my supply drops. It's really easy and it's pretty simple. So go to the contracts, um, go to that woman with the contracts or go to Major Howard. Be sure to always activate both of them because when you're in a match, you're always gaining XP. You're always getting points towards uh, your contracts and your orders. So that's always a must do before you head into a match. Always be sure to activate the orders and the contracts. So the last thing we're gonna be looking at uh, to get these supply drops faster is not many people know this, but every five levels when you level up, you get a supply drop. So if you're level five, you will get a supply drop. And once you hit level 10, you will get another supply drop. Once you get to level 15, you'll get a supply drop. And once you get to level 20, you'll get a supply drop. So every five levels, you get a supply drop. So basically what you need to do, keep playing the game, try to level up as much as possible, get as many kills as possible, play domination, hop on the flags, be a team player, it gets you way more XP and you level up fast. So basically if you collect a mail, you're gonna get a supply drop. When you go ahead and watch people in the headquarters lobby or watch your friends, you're gonna get a supply drop. If they do get an epic, um, always be sure to activate the contracts and make sure those have the rewards of a supply drop or a rare supply drop. The same thing with Major Howard's orders, be sure to activate that. And basically every five levels, you'll get a supply drop. So those are five easy, fast things to do to gain these supply drops. And if in the future, there are faster and easier ways to obtain these, I'll be sure to make another video on it. But basically that's the basis for today's video. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up, it'd be greatly appreciated. And I will catch all of you later, globe out.